I mean, we've been able to realize a phenomenal growth over those 40 years. Um, and this has been realized through a growing commitment from industry. But at the same time, this commitment from industry was leveraged on top of a very strong and stable support from, uh, from the local government. And this, we believe, is, is important because it allows us to invest in new programs which today are probably too early for industry to finance, right. but allow us to make sure that we can develop a long-term strategy. At the same time, there is an enormous consolidation. Uh, in the industry, only kind of the, the biggest companies can stay in the race, uh, especially for the advanced technologies. Um, uh, so why, why is the that? risk? Well, it's because the level of investment is, is so large, uh, level of required investment. Um, but as a consequence of having very few players, I mean, the risk uh, of R&D is, is becoming phenomenal. It is extremely important that uh, we accelerate the innovation capability um, and, um, and so the, the CHIPS Acts are the right opportunity to do that but if we're going to implement them in such a way that everybody is going to try to do everything and keep everything locally under control I believe it's going to be a setback rather than an acceleration because it will result in duplication of activities, it will result in increase of cost, and it will result in a slowdown of innovation, which is the opposite of what the chip sites are striving for. The first reaction is, oh, we have to control uh, everything ourselves. Now, this, I think, for this industry is not the most effective way. Uh, I think collaboration is still very important. It's, it's going to be the essence uh, to make it successful. 